what is going to happen after we die. And so Joseph said to the people, I'm begging you, don't leave my bones in Egypt. And in a little while, you're going to hear from our physiotherapist who's going to tell you how to take care of your bones while you're alive. But I want to tell all of you that are sitting in here today that our bones are really of no use to us after we die. But we need to take care of these bones while we're alive because we need these bones to be well and to be sound for us to do all the things that we have been called to do in this life. And I say in this life because, you know, this life will end one day. I keep telling people that once I went out to Dovecott Cemetery and I stood looking down on, the set, on, a, on a plate that I was standing on, when I, I looked at the plate I saw that it was my name that I was standing on. And somebody with my name was buried under the place where I was standing. And it reminded me that we all have to leave this place one day. And the bones that we're going to hear that we must take care of, these bones are important for us to remain alive, to be able to walk around, to be able to lift up our hands, to move our necks, so that while we are alive, the things that we are born to do, then these are the things that we must then do. And we are born, many of us are born to do many things. Who are the dentists? Any dentists that are sitting in here from you, you know? Any dentists that are sitting here? All the dentists are around here? You're a dentist? All the dentists. So there's a gentleman around here who runs a dental school from UA. And he and I went to high school together all the way from grade 7. And that young man was a, was a big man now, but he was an athlete. He was born to be an athlete. And then, we, of course, we found out that he was born to be a dentist. I was not born to be a dentist, nor born to be a real athlete. But we are all born for a purpose. We are all born for a reason. And while we are alive, we need to look after ourselves so that we can remain alive to do the things that we are born to do. But when you are dead, your bones will be of no use to you. Joseph asked the people to make sure they carry his bones back to where they come from so that these bones could remind the people of where they were coming from. But I have to stress in this little talk that I've given you that no matter how much you look after your bones while you're alive, they're not going to make sure that you're all right after you're gone. These bones that you're going to hear, what you need to do to look after yourself, are only going to be of use to you while you're alive. But when you're dead, these bones will be of no use to you and will not help you when you're gone. And so the Bible says that it is appointed for all men and we are all destined to die one time. And after that comes judgment. And it says, So Christ, having been offered to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time. And when Jesus comes back, the Bible says, He's not coming back to deal with sin, but He's coming back to save those who are eagerly waiting for Him. So I want to just say to you as I close this little talk here today, that we need to make sure we take care of the thing that can help us after we die. We need to take care of the bones, we need to take care of our health, because we need to do that while we are alive. But there are some things that we are going to have to take care of while we are alive, which is why we are having this health fair, to help people to take care of themselves while they are alive. All of those things that you must do, none of those things are going to help you after your death. What is going to help you after you die is if you look after the part of your body that you can't see, the part of your existence, which is your soul. And Jesus says that he did not come to save the healthy, but he came to save the sick. And really what that means is that when God looks at all of us, whether we have diabetes, 
Or we have rheumatic fever like I did as a child and trouble with the rest of the, all of my life. Or whether we have a broke foot. Or whether we have some other problem. Jesus said that all of us, God is saying that all of us are really sick. All of us are sick in our souls. Because men and women are wired to not rebel against what God says. And Jesus says he has not come to call the healthy. He has come to save the sick. And that is all of us. That is every single solitary one of us. Even though our bones might be sound, even though our heart might be working, even though we may, have not, we may, we may not have no sugar, as poor people say they have sugar. God says all of us are sick in our souls. And so I'm here to you to, today to remind you that there is a remedy while you're alive for the problem that is in your soul. There is a problem with your soul, there is a remedy for it while you're alive. And so my encouragement to all of us that are here today who have come to look after different things in your body, to look after your, your bones, to make sure your blood is okay, to make sure your teeth are fine, to make sure there are no infections in your body, those things are very good for keeping us alive. But there is a life beyond death. The Bible says that Jesus will come again. And the time when he comes the second time, it will be to deal and to welcome those who are waiting for him, whether we are alive or we are in, in his presence as people who have left this life. He's coming back to, for those of us who are eagerly waiting for him. He's not coming to deal with the condition of our soul at that time. So all of us, every single human being has a responsibility to look after their soul while they are alive because when Jesus comes back, he's not coming back to look after any soul at that time. So look after the body. Talk to the doctors today. Get your prescription. Listen to our sister, Tricia, who is going to talk about your bones recent, uh, shortly. And look after your bones. Take all the calcium that you're supposed to get. And make sure you're healthy for all the things that you were born for. But if you know that there is a problem with your soul, with your heart, not your physical heart, but with your heart towards God. Then before God takes us, and none of us know if we're going to be here tomorrow morning. Before God takes us, do what is required to fix the part of us that God says is sick in every human being. Jesus did not come to call the healthy.